trying to think of it. Ozzy, what is happening, Ozzy Osbourne? Why is, why, who let Ozzy Osbourne at an F1 event? Who let that happen? What's going on guys, it is JJ here, back with a new video. I do apologize, um, this is gonna sound absolutely horrible. My voice is still entirely gone. Um, tried to make some videos over the weekend, but legitimately just couldn't squeak anything out of my vocal cords. But now, we are back. And today we're going to take a look, for the first time ever, at Martin Brundle's Grid Walk, which we vaguely took a look at when we started watching the first couple of Grand Prix that we did this year. Um, I asked people during the live streams, which we have been live streaming all the Grand Prix, asked people during the live streams what the hell was going on, you know, why is this man just walking around with a microphone talking to people? I had no clue uh, that it was part of the process and that is something that he's been doing for years and years. Um, Cause it was really cringe at the Miami Grand Prix. It was really bad. Yeah, he thought Paolo Banchero from Duke was, was Patrick Mahomes. Um, and he's just like randomly walking up to celeb. Oh, I'm going to keep voice squeaking, by the way. I'm going to keep voice cracking. My voice is gone, gone. But he just like random thought random celebrities would like know a ton about F1. They had no clue. They were there just to be in Miami, I think, for the vibes at this rate. But anyway, we're going to take a look at Martin Rundle's grid walk. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This is going to be very interesting. This is going to be very interesting. I, I think, I think he's hilarious. I think he's absolutely hilarious. But maybe that's just me. But yeah, let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video down in the description below. 20 years ago, just a few corners uh, round this famous track in the old pit straight, Martin Brundle conducted his first ever grid walk. And in the two decades that have passed since, he's met some intriguing characters. So, he, think about it this way. <clears throat> For all of you uh, big F1 fans out there, he's been doing this since 1997. That's when I was born. That's when I was born. So he's been doing the grid walk for legitimately the entirety of my life. That blows my mind. That blows my mind. 1997 has many things that stick in my memory. I've joined Arrows, Chumbawamba, and a man called Martin did his very first grid walk. When you do arrive on the grid, as Villeneuve has just done, look what you can see. Come over my shoulder here, Keith. Remember that a driver's sitting down. This is about his perspective. Let's find Damon. <laughs> what can you say? Well, I can say that we're pleased to be the quickest bridge runner. Pedal to the metal. Go for it. We're all behind you. Of course, it didn't always go to plan. I want to have a word with this guy because he's complete and that's a fruitcake. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just... Uh, uh, I'm doing, and currently writing a musical about the life of Tommy Rasputin and the Mad Monk. And we just got... Uh, I need to go on Broadway. Alright, I'll try and think of it. Ozzy, what is happening, Ozzy Osbourne? Why is, why, who let Ozzy Osbourne at an F1 event? Who let that happen? Question for that answer. We could have a quick word with you for British television. No, English. You do understand English? No, English. Hey, no. Ronaldo doesn't speak English. You're confident the Ferraris can get the job done? Why well, I don't understand. Is, is Beckham coming to Spain? That's good, no comprende. Kimmy, you missed the presentation by Pele. Yeah. Did you get over it? <laughs> yeah, I, I was having a <laughs> <laughs> so Obviously, you'll have a nice light car on the grid then. Did you bring the dogs with you? No, they're all at home. Uh, excellent, thank you very much. I think we'll move on. How many Grand Prix have you been to? Um, let's see, one. Martin was always the perfect gentleman on the grid. Yeah, are we, are you, uh, are we in a queue or? Okay, how big how big's the queue? Do we need to take a ticket like at the cheese counter? Sebastian, quick word for BBC. <laughs> Are you stealing my interview, Tanya? Go, <laughs> yeah, well, lovely to see you. Sorry, we go back a while. See you later. <laughs> I'm in trouble. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations on being old. It's a shame you're too old to have driven here, really. I am too old to have driven here, but uh, shame you wasn't fast enough to get to Formula One. I'll give you a lucky nipple tweak. I haven't done that for. Did he just go after Christian Horner like that? <laughs> Did he just go after Christian Horner like that? That man Martin's a savage, you know. I, uh, I'm missing the nipple tweak. Let's see if I can return the lucky nipple tweak. Thank you for that. I'm not talking to you. And Martin, I think, is his great history in the sport. His, um, his character, his energy. Let's keep going. He is such an oddball. Is, I didn't realize it was quite so far down this grid. 
but I'm not going to give up now. Brian, glad I caught up with you. Had to run to you. Um, <laughs> the English humour there right away. Yeah, it seems like everything I do today is in yeah, a bit of a rush, but yeah. please, please forgive me. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> These drivers are, are pretty reckless, but they don't give up, do they? Thanks for talking to us. Let's hope we can make it a race to remember. Thank you yeah, very much, uh, Brian. When you're gone. See you. He's got such a recognisable voice. Um, it is a very recognisable um, voice. And admire. Mariah, may I have a word for Sky TV? Okie dokie, I think that's, um, I think it's a look. Oh well, that's not going to spoil my life. Venus, can we have a quick word? Martin Brundle, Sky F1. Can I give you a second chance with that question? Yeah, I think that was a, that was a firm no, wasn't it? Owen, Martin Brundle, Sky TV. Uh, can you have a quick word? For the viewers, what, I think this is your second Grand Prix, yeah? This is my second. I went to one in Spain. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, that's always interesting to know, isn't it? <laughs> People rejecting him are so, like, that's so sad. That's so sad. You can't spit. I mean, it is just like a random microphone getting shoved in their face. But still, that's so sad. No He's just trying to vibe. Are, He's always asked the tough questions. I've looked at it very closely. I've driven 158 Grand Prix. I've seen the TV, so I commentated on it live. Well, you only think that because you don't know the facts. Okay, then we have to beg to differ, but thanks for your opinion. Surely we just have to have a, a sensible pill and go motor racing. Tell me where we can buy the pills. I don't, we need to talk to Mrs. Ecclestone. I hope that he stays around for a long time because I think he's really today's Murray Walker. I think the only sensible thing to do is the cameraman's going to... Just look at that face. They put that on live TV. They put that on live TV and said, let's get this product out here. Get Martin Brundle on the camera. Honestly, I want to go to the comments just to see what people have said. Just to see what people at F1 has his ups and downs. But Martin Brundle never disappoints. Shame you weren't quick enough for F. Dude, he did go for Christian Horner. That was the most savage play I think I've ever seen. Wow. Martin might not go down as an F1 driver legend, but he is an F1 legend. I'll take it. Take down a Christian Horner is a thing of pure perfection. It kind of is, you know. Uh, Martin used to cut in front of German TV when Seb was winning championships. No way. No one does a better grid walk. Have other people done grid walks? Like, have other people tried to do what Martin's done and just not had any success? Or... Because that would, honestly, no, I mean, no one's going to be able to replicate it. No one's going to be able to, to take it over. But we're going back because I want to see the Ozzy Osbourne one. I love that he called Ozzy Osbourne a fruitcake before the interview even started. He's like, I got to get this one. I got to get this interview. I, I just love that. It's an F1 tradition I did not know about, but it, this is amazing. This is amazing. His first ever grid walking in the two decades that have passed since. He's met some intriguing guys. Now it's been 25 years. It's been 25 years of the grid walk. Many things that stick in my memory. I joined Arrows, Chumbawamba, and a man called Martin did his very first grid walk. When you do arrive on the grid, as Villeneuve has just done, look what you can see. Come over my shoulder here, Keith. Remember that a driver's sitting down. And he just kind of keeps it like, he's he just, just literally, it's all like improv. This is all improv. Team. He's just asking That's random things. Go for it. We're all behind you. Of course, it didn't always go to plan. I want to have a word with this guy because he's complete and that's a fruitcake. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, uh, hey, I'm what in the currently <laughs> writing a musical about the life of Tom with Rasputin and the Mad Monk. And we just got uh, there, a laugh. I, I still don't understand a single word that he said. I still have no clue what he said. I need, I need to go on Broadway. All right, I'll try and think of a question for that answer. We could have a quick word with you for British television. I understand English. You do understand English? No English. Hey, no. Ronaldo doesn't speak English. I'm confident the Ferraris can get the job done. Why? Well, I don't understand. Is, is Beckham coming to Spain? That's good. No comprende. Kimmy, you missed the presentation by Pele. Yeah. Did he get over it? <laughs> yeah, I, I was having a <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, have a nice light car on the grid then. Did you bring the dogs with you? No, they're all at home. Uh, excellent. Thank you very much. I think we'll move on. How many Grand Prix have you been to? Um, let's see. I love that he really doesn't care who he interviews. He just wants the interview. Like, he just wants someone to talk to at this rate. I, you know what? Let me know you guys' favorite Martin Brundle grid walk, and we will 100% watch it from beginning to end. I don't care how long it is. I don't care how awkward it is. Let me know your guys' favorite, and we're going to watch it. So, but thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and peace.